Welcome back to Fox Midday News. In the wake of many recent events, mental health is once again in the forefront. We're joined today by Dr. Corey Beware, Med, to talk about treating and diagnosing mental health disorders. It's complicated to figure this out. That's why they need somebody like you. I appreciate that, really. The main thing, really, is the brain is the focus of everything. So we have to maintain the health of the brain. Now, the brain is not just a structure, but the brain has chemicals. So those are called neurotransmitters, and if they're off, we have a problem. Mm -hmm. And depends on also the food, because if you're not eating the amino acids that are necessary to make all the neurotransmitters, you'll have lack of these neurotransmitters, and you have a problem. Second is, brain is electricity. And if we're exposing the brain to a tremendous amount of electro, uh, electric activity or electromagnetic changes, it changes and creates electromagnetic chaos. So really maintaining the brain health is essential. Stress changes the structure of the brain. Mm -hmm. um, alcohol disturbs the brain function and, and the electricity of the brain and it depletes the brain from dopamine. Without dopamine we're not happy. We're very stressed and we can die. Mm -hmm. And that's why a lot of people would self-medicate. So mental problem is huge and stress is one of the massive problems that causes that and more importantly is the food we're eating. So understand that food is medicine and choose the food that helps the brain. Now DHA, which is a, some type of, uh, of uh, omega-3s that really are very important to the, to the brain. So restoring brain health by eating the right food for the brain is amazing. Some amino acids like taurine calms the brain down. So chemical imbalances is real and it happens every day and we are here to help them every time, everyone, and including ourselves, we need to maintain healthy brains. Dr. Corey, thank you for coming in. For more information, go to WFXP.com. We'll be right back.